Welcome back, this is episode number 8 of this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. I'm going to show you how to add a push button to your hardware setup. And before you actually do that, make sure that your Raspberry Pi is correctly shut down. So you go here, you click on logout and shut down. Okay, so here is the VNC and you can see the VNC server uh, is down so the client can't connect to it so it means the Raspberry Pi is shutting down okay and now that you have shut down your Raspberry Pi through the software so you should see here the uh, LED the green LED should not be blinking anymore so you can wait maybe 20 seconds should be enough now you can remove the power cable so now the Raspberry Pi is not powered on anymore okay there is no power so now you can manipulate your circuit and what i'm going to do i'm going to remove also the sd card so we don't take the risk to break it when we manipulate the raspberry pi i'm going to put it right here and we are going to put it back at the end so we have our circuit which already contains the led okay from the previous example and now i'm going to add those components here for the push button so you can see the push button here i have four different legs okay i'm going to need to use two resistors so that one here is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and that one here is a one kilo ohm resistor that you already used that before for the LED. so that is the same model And then I'm going to use three different cables, so three wires. I'm going to use one male to male wire, okay? You can take a red one, one male to female wire, also it's better if you have a red one, and another male to female wire. Just take any color you want and maybe avoid red and black because we are going to keep red for power and black for ground. Great, so you have all those components. What I'm going to do is I take the push button, I take my circuit here, try not to remove any cable from anywhere, and I'm going to put that on the right of the breadboard here. And as you can see, if I connect the push button like this, if you remember how the breadboard works, well, you can see that this line here, all the dots are connected together. So it means that the two legs of the button are connected with each other. And those two legs here are also connected with each other. So what we want to do is to put the button between the two parts of the breadboard like this. Okay, so each leg has its own dots and its own line and each leg is independent. Great, so now the first thing we are going to do is to connect one of the leg to the ground. And actually to do that, we are not going to directly connect to the ground of the Raspberry Pi. We are going to connect to the blue line here because you can see we already have a black wire between the ground of the Raspberry Pi and the ground of the breadboard. So I'm going to put the 10 kilo ohm resistor here one leg will go so i take one leg and i put it with one leg of the button here and another leg with the ground like this okay so you have one leg connected to one leg of the button the other leg to the dot here which is in the blue line okay that's it for the ground now I'm going to need to connect the button to the power, so to 3.3 volt. So that is something we didn't need to do with the LED. We just connected the other side to uh, GPIO directly. And now before we actually use GPIO on this button, we need to power it with uh, the 3.3 power on the Raspberry Pi. So the 3.3 power you can get it here so i'm going to take my male to female wire okay i take my female connector and i put it here 
on the very first pin on the inside okay, of the Raspberry Pi, like that, you can see here. So the very first pin. That one, as you can see on the image, that one is 3.3 volt. And actually I'm going to plug it here uh, in the plus line, okay? Because as for now, we didn't have anything connected to the plus line. Now we have the 3.3 volt connected to the plus line. So what we can do is simply to connect one of the other leg of the push button okay, to the plus line here. Any, any pin uh, from the plus line will do. So let's, let's use that one. So we could have connected directly the, this leg of the button to this 3.3 uh, pin actually, but we didn't do that. Why? Simply because now we will be able to connect more elements. So if we have more elements, more push buttons, etc., we can directly connect the power leg to this line here. So just as we have for the ground, we have one common line for everything we need to power on. Great. So the button is connected to ground and to the 3.3 line. And now finally, we can actually connect the button to a GPIO. And I'm going to use the one kilo ohm resistor here. And I'm going to use another leg of the button. Let's say that one here, that one on the top. And I'm going to connect another leg to another line, okay, totally different line. Okay, like, like this. Make sure the resistor doesn't touch anything else, okay? So you can see one leg of the one kilo ohm resistor is connected here. The other leg is connected to a different line. And now I'm finally going to take my blue wire, so male to female wire here. I connect the male connector here with the uh, resistor. So on the same line, make sure it's on the same line. And the other side of the wire, so the female part, I'm going to connect it to GPIO number 26. Okay, so GPIO number 26 is actually right there. So it is the second to last pin here, if you can see, the second to last pin on the inside, okay, on the internal side of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, make sure you don't connect to the last pin because the last pin is also a ground pin. So you don't want to connect that GPIO to the ground pin. And now the hardware setup is finished. So we haven't changed anything with the LED, but as you can see on the button we have, so we have one leg connected to the plus, one leg connected to minus, so to the ground with the 10 kilo ohm resistor, and then another leg connected to one leg of a resistor, which goes there. And then from the other leg, we have a connection to GPIO number 26. So now you can put the SD card back on the Raspberry Pi like this. Okay, put it on flat surface. And finally, you can power on your Raspberry Pi. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.